Do I look at the camera? This is the PS127 chorus at Avatar Studios in Manhattan. It's one of the most famous studios in the world. We're here to record a song that was written especially for us. Can you hear me now? Um, you want to just do one take right from the beginning? Sure. Hang on a minute. Let's back up a bit. Maybe I should tell you how we got here. It's a good story. Okay, here we go. This is take two. Here we are again at our school in East Helmhurst, Queens. We're just getting ready to practice a song that our teacher, Mr. Striker, wrote for us. This whole project started with writing some songs for uh, a particular singer. But keep that energy, ready? looking for lyric ideas and then my wife said I keep hearing the words rise up when you're singing now I want you to turn into ma and then I started thinking rise up what would I do if I rose up I'd rise up and sing rise up and sing show them what you made of once I had that idea of rise up and sing this was a song for my students because here I've been teaching uh, probably 12 years or so and I've taught a lot of kids to sing at any point when you are singing from now and for the rest of your life if you feel tension in your shoulders, the very simple way to solve that problem is to move your shoulders. Knees, shake your hand. Here we are, hard at work. And here's our song. Rise Up and Sing is a really nice song. I, I like, once he played it, I fell in love with the song. The song Rise Up and Sing is is different, that's why I like it, because there's not many songs on the radio about singing. Good, now, first, most important. In practice, we've talked about the meaning of our song's lyrics. Rise up and sing, show them what you're made of. What is this song about? Lewis. Even though like you have those tough moments when you think you failed and you still have to believe in, show, in yourself and make sure that you can do the best of what you can with what you got. Thank you. Will do. That if you show what, how you really are, that you know that you're not going to be afraid of whatever they tell you. Thank you. Okay, Felix. If somebody tries to like ignore you or try to insult you, don't. Don't just give up and just express yourself the way you want to. This is what's really important about the song. This is basically me writing a song for you, and this may seem weird, so that you will sing it for me. How does the chorus end? Sing your song for me. But now, are you going to be singing the song for me or for other people? For other people. I hope when people listen to the song Rise Up and Sing that they actually take in what the lyrics are saying to don't be afraid, show them what you're made of. There's some songs where you go home after hearing it and you're like, what was that song about again? But I want this one for them to know, be like, oh, I remember that song. I was really writing it specifically for these students. And when they sang it, I wanted them to specifically sing it for their peers, for their family, for their friends. This documentary might get on TV, right? Uh, probably not. Right now, my goal is to try to become famous. I would like to be an actress, a professional dancer. If that's not works, then, I don't know, I would like to be a doctor, something like that. One of my goals as a music teacher is to give them the tools to succeed in whatever they do. I think that studying music really teaches you discipline, perseverance. Well, we've actually been practicing a lot. No, we have some mistakes here and there. Are you nervous? Yeah. No. No. Too exciting, right? I think it's going to be a really exciting moment in everybody's life in the chorus. Are you nervous? I'm a little. Because <laughs> I have like, Always dream of going to a real life studio. Like, oh my god, imagine being at the studio, pretending I'm at the studio with the headphones. I'm like, oh my god, I hear you too. Yo, I hear you too. Oh, this is so fun. The best way to hear yourself when you're, um, when you're recording with headphones like this is to have one ear off so you can hear yourself naturally in the room, blending with everybody else like you were in rehearsal. What we don't want to happen is for your headphones to have the sound of the music coming into the room, into the microphone. If you're talking right now, then we're not going to be able to proceed.
Brian, so um, you want to just do one take right from the beginning? Sure. Hey Brian, how'd that sound? Hey, good job. <laughs> awesome. All right, can I just, I'm just, you, can I just like make a couple of notes to them and then? Now, uh, it's good. I'm gonna just make a couple of comments. I know this is new for you, so we have plenty of time for you guys to get used to how this works. There's a few of you who are so excited that you forgot that I'm actually the one conducting. So there was a lot of cutoffs that people just weren't doing. They're in middle school and they have a hard time, you know, focusing and being still. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe if Lewis and Michael don't poke each other, we could do a better take than that. Oh. Here we go. Take two. You know, I found that middle school students they have so much energy and so much anxiety about the world. They just don't know what to do with that. One more closing door, one step behind. If they won't lift you up, just look inside, you'll find it's your time to shine. Really? One more closing door? What, like five doors have been slammed on my face was enough? Now one more? Right? <laughs> I hope that I can use all that energy for the music, for the emotion of the music. All right, everybody, take nine. Here we go. One more closing door, one step behind. If they won't lift you up, just look inside, you'll find that it's your time to shine. It's good. One of my goals for this project was not just to record the song, but was also for the students to have the experience, the professional experience of recording a song. Again, <laughs> take 14. The studio was amazing. Just, you know, it was really a lot of technology and equipment there. Yes, it did make me feel like a real professional. Right from the beginning, I made it clear to them that this was not going to be easy. That it takes a lot of practice and that the recording process itself is tedious. I'm still not feeling it. There's no emotion. Oh. It was tiring because we were just standing there repeating and repeating and repeating. It was a long day and it was just really tiring. Most of us actually got tired by like by the first half an hour. I'm very proud of them. It was a four hour session. I don't expect middle school kids to be able to focus for four hours on anything. Mr. S. Striker went to listen to all of the tracks we had made. He wanted to make sure we had everything. We listened in in our headphones. It sounded good. It sounds fantastic. Sounds great, guys. That's a wrap. I think we did the best we could, and like we sound really amazing on it. Was, everybody sounded like we said we are getting here. Everyone in the room, microphone. Yeah, I enjoyed the recording. Uh, most because Michael Jackson were there. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Jackson stepped through what we stepped, and I was like, oh, Malik, look, Michael Jackson was here. I was really excited. I love it. Afterwards, a lot of them were tired and kind of grumpy, and you know the way that real musicians are after a big session. We spent months working on it, and it's finally finished. We got through it, and it was I would really do it again. I would do the whole thing over again. Would I do it again? Watch my hands. Row one, row two. Um, it's a lot of work to do for a man my age. 
I wrote this song and I wanted it to be this alive product that really would just come from me, go out to the students, from the students moving on, and uh, I really hope that lots of people hear it and, and are moved by it. Mr. Astriker made the song for us, and now we're giving it to you. We hope that you think of it whenever you need it, and maybe even sing it to someone else so they can feel better too. We hope that you'll rise up and sing. My favorite part is um, when you go, rise up and sing.